Here's the October market report for Washtenaw County. And really, it's the market report for the first three quarters of the year. Um, but throughout the year, Washtenaw has been pretty consistent in the sales activity. Although I will say, as the year has moved on, the rate of increase, the rate of activity, and, and if you're looking to buy a home in Washtenaw County, uh, particularly in the under, say, three or four hundred thousand dollar price range, the, un the craziness of the market is starting to settle back a little bit. Uh, now, just as I've said that, in the last month or so, we see inventories get squeezed even more. They were starting to be released a little bit. We had a few more listings coming on the market than last year in some of the price ranges for a few months. But then when the September numbers came in, inventories are just as tight. In fact, they're tight across the board. Even in the upper end, the over half million, we saw inventories not jump as much as we thought. Although values up to a half million certainly jumped uh, as we would expect it, um, quite a bit in uh, September and really throughout the year they've been running very steady. The over um, half million dollar market where values were also rising throughout the year there, they've settled back to flat. We thought that would happen because it happened in the rest of Southeast Michigan, Wayne, Oakland, Macomb counties. We thought that eventually that would carry through to Washtenaw. Uh, but in general, Washtenaw has still outperformed really the rest of the state of Michigan in terms of housing activity, just as Washtenaw County economically has outperformed the rest of the state as well. So it, it goes hand in hand. Um, but we think that, um, that the activity going forward into 2017 should look a lot like 2016. Now, I think that the, the release of pent-up demand, this, that burst of the dam that, that burst in 2010, 11, 12, the release of the, of the recession um, pent-up demand, I think that is starting to settle down a little bit. But at the same time, that core economic growth of Washtenaw County is creating jobs, creating incomes, creating more people that can afford homes. So there's sort of an offset there. So with that, I think that we're going into the year, going into the fall of this year and probably carrying into the winter of 2017, we're probably carrying the same momentum as we did going into 2016, maybe for different reasons. Uh, the economy is a little stronger, so that's probably driving, um, driving it, which quite frankly is a better thing. Uh, if the housing, core housing demand is based on the core economic activity rather than this pent-up release that eventually ends, then that's a healthier market. Um, we still don't anticipate the, every year to be a record year, so we still don't anticipate necessarily the sales in Washtenaw County through, through the, the second half of this year will match the same as 2015, nor do we expect 17 necessarily to match 16. The good news is that if we're wrong on that prediction, we're probably wrong on the positive side. That means we'll probably outperform what we predict, just because there, there's enough core economic activity going on there. Um, household formations are strong. They're strong across the country, not just in Washington and, and Southeast Michigan. And that's putting pressure on, first of all, it's putting pressure on rentals. Uh, and if we see that if you've tried to rent an apartment or a home, and then that cascades into uh, continued pressure on home prices and home values, which for homeowners is a good thing. That means that values will continue to rise, um, probably across all price ranges. But again, most of that jump, most of the highest activity will be in the under uh, 300,000 for Washtenaw probably. But in general, whichever market you're in, it is the first time home buyer market price range, whatever that is for the market, will carry the most activity, the most appreciation, um, and as you get higher up in the price range, the more you get into that sweet spot of what baby boomers have purchased over the last 20 years, their second or third home, uh, 2,500 square foot colonial suburban home, uh, which is traditional home for Michigan, that's the, the market that will have probably the least intense activity. Not that values won't go up there, it's just probably not as much because that's not where the concentration of demand is. That's not where Gen X and Gen Y are focusing their buyer activity. But in general, we've got good prospects. This year has been a great year in real estate. Uh, it will continue to be through the fall. We'll have the ups and downs. We're going into a slower time of year in terms of core activity and sales. Um, but we still anticipate the sales activity, even though it'll, it's a slower time of year, relative to the time of year, we expect it to be still pretty strong. So if you're thinking of selling, it's still a good time to test the market and see what's going on with, it, with, uh, with the market and what could happen with your home. That's it. Thanks.